Next, we move on to example five for the power rule. As you look at this expression, we see a whole lot going on here. We have a square root sign. We also have a power to the five, or power to the fifth, and it's all written in a denominator. So the first thing we want to do is rewrite this in an exponential form so we know what the exponents are. And so we're going to write it as f of x is equal to three, x minus four, because I'm moving this term up, it's going to be negative. The power is five. A square root is an index. And those are always written with fractions, remember. So this is negative five halves. Negative five halves represents the square root raised to the fifth on the bottom. And so as we use our power rule, the first thing we want to do, take this negative five halves, multiply by three. That gives us negative 15 halves x minus 4 raised to, now you have to subtract 1 from this. When you subtract 1 from it, you put it in the form of 2 over 2. And so this becomes negative 7 halves. And then of course the last step is to get rid of that negative exponent, drop the terms back down to where they're supposed to be. And so I'm going to call this 15 over 2 x minus 4 raised to the 7 halves. And notice I did not forget my negative, it's in front of the fraction. And that would be my final step for this problem.